Paint-tober month is aimed at raising cancer awareness and facilitating access to support for all Guyanese. In 2017, GTT raised $4 million, while in 2018, the company was able to almost triple that amount. This has resulted in the company being able to continue its fight against cancer by providing support to multiple foundations. And according to GTT's chief executive officer, for 2019, his company aims to do more. Today is the 1st of October and it kicks off a series of events that we have for the month, uh, the month of October. And why are we doing this? GTT is takes pride in bringing people together, connecting people, and as you would have heard, it is important for us to be connected to drive things like early detection, uh, to right through to palliative care. At the symposium, various health officials elaborated on the various forms of cancer affecting the Guyanese populace and reminded that the fight against this deadly disease is everybody's business. The GTT CEO added that there is scope for improvement in relation to cancer awareness and treatment, and therefore it is necessary that more persons get on board. We have quite a bit of work to do, and that's why it's absolutely important that we continue to come together. Because if everybody puts just a little bit, we can save lives together. We do look forward to stronger policy. I think we, again, I want to use the word collaborate, and really collaborate and come together <coughs> to raise funds because much of this costs quite a bit of, of money. According to the Cancer Institute of Guyana, CIG, it treated over 100 women for the year so far for breast cancer. For the years 2015 to 2018, the Institute has documented the diagnosis and treatment of over 1,000 persons, including men and women in Guyana, with cancer. Reporting for the Evening News, I am Kristen McLingham.